Hi, John. Hi there. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, sir. So congratulations on a super fun film. Thank you. So what drew you to this project? I think, I think the, uh, the challenge of trying to incorporate Sherlock as a character into the existing world of uh, the gnomes. And I loved the character of Sherlock Holmes when I was a kid, so I wanted to sort of take take him and sort of see how respectful we could be to the character and also how much fun we could have, you know, with, with Johnny's version of it. So. And did you miss the director, Sid? The truth is, it's harder, it's, it's, it's harder work to make a movie than it is to actually make the movie. Getting, you know, getting a movie greenlit is, is a, uh, takes a lot of time. And it was an exhausting, you know, period between, you know, make, finishing Panda and, and and doing this of trying to get a film greenlit. So it's, you know, I mean, making a film is hard work, but it's fun hard work because you're working with really talented people and and trying to get a film made is not fun. It's, it's a drag. <laughs> so what is the scene you're most proud about in this film? Uh, well, hmm. uh, there's, there's some there's some action scenes that, that I you know I'm 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 pleased with I thought we came up with an interesting idea but there's a scene in a there's a scene with with um, an Elton John song from one of his early albums I need you to turn to with Juliet in a in an art gallery that I really like okay. and what's next for you after this. Uh, I don't know. I've got a film I've been working on for some years back in America called The Ark and the Aardvark, and I've got a few other projects that are sort of, you know, being developed right now. So we'll have to see. I hope it won't be another 10 years. <laughs> well, <laughs> we hope so. Well, uh, they're moving to London from Stratford on Avon, um, so that moves us into the world of, you know, Sherlock Gnomes, which is London based, and Stratford on Avon. Um, and they've had to move because at the end of the previous movie, the gardens were destroyed by the Terraformator! Uh, and, uh, you know, Mr. Montague's Capulet have decided to, you know, sell up, take the insurance money, move to London and start a new life and combine their loans. So that's, that's, that's how we start. Well, uh, we got Johnny Depp to be Sherlock, which is, you know, that's pretty good. Um, and Johnny, you know, loves Sherlock, uh, you know, the character as much as I do. Uh, he, you know, my favourite Sherlock uh, was, was Jeremy Brett's version, and Johnny's was Basil Rathbone. So we, you know, we sort of tried to meld the best of Sherlock's in, in Johnny's performance. And uh, I hope you had a good time doing it. We, we had a lovely time working with him. He's a, he's a great guy. Well, Bernie Torbin and Elton wrote two new songs for this. One, a big barnstorming song that Mary J. Blige performs in the, in the film. Um, and then we incorporated cues from Elton's you know, catalogue of songs into the score. Chris Bacon, our uh, composer, weaved sort of Elton themes throughout the whole film. And then Canal, which is a, a group that helped us work with, um, sort of reimagining some of his songs in the past, took a bunch of Elton songs and, uh, and sort of, you know, reworked them for this film. So that they're familiar, but they're sort of reinvented. All the familiar will be all the returning characters and the idea of gnomes coming to life. Different will be, it's a brand new location, we're in London. And we've changed genres. Uh, you know, the first film being based on or inspired by Romeo and Juliet is obviously sort of a more of a romantic comedy. And if we're going to do a Sherlock Holmes-inspired story, you move into the world of an adventure. So we're we're more of an adventure movie than the first. Uh, well, yeah, there's a you know sort of, uh, everybody in our movie, you know, James and Emily in particular, just consummate. Actors obviously they know their characters own those characters, uh, so that was very you know very easy for them to slip back into those roles. And then we just tried to give them a little bit more to do in this film than in the first film. In in, uh, in the fact that you know, the first film was sort of boy meets girl, I guess this one is how do boy and girl stay together?